up my man Gone Cover, who has lent me their account for a massive tournament reward opening. Over 800,000 tournament credits, as you can see up there, as well as his season rewards, including the import drop. I'm very, very excited. Please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. And if you want to check out Gone Cover's channel, you can use the link in the description. He uploads black market showcases in Rocket League when they drop new ones. So be sure to subscribe over there if you want to be up to date with all that good stuff. And please consider using code Pixel Army in the Rocket League item shop to support me and allow me to keep making these videos each and every single day. So we'll delay no further. We're going to go to the drop section. No uncommons to fiddle about with. Just a couple of rares, a very rare, and an import drop. I am still yet to get any black markets from the season rewards. We've got a bunch of new, you know, achievements up there, I guess, starting with a nice slice. I think there are a couple of uh, very rare drop trade-ups to do as well, I think. And then we can do all of the credits, all of the trade-ups, and all that good stuff as well. So let's do the very rare drop. Could get... I'm, I'm feeling an import here. I'm feeling an import. It is painted because the, the, uh, the achievement gave it away. It's going to be a painted invader wheel. And now we have the import drop. I just checked the requirements as well just to make sure that I've got it right. And he wanted me to keep uh, the core item. So I'm not going to do any of those traders or anything like that. But this is big. It's an import drop. And we could be getting a black market. Come on. Or a painted octane or something. Come on. It's an import. It's an FSL wheel. Oh, one of these days I might get a good import drop. But today, ladies and gentlemen, is not that day. <laughs> now, here is someone who has a lot of black markets. They do have some digi globes. They use the purple one. There are, I think, three exotics from the Season 1 series that they want me to trade up with the hopes of getting them a painted digi globe because digi globe is their favorite black market. Their favorite colors are number one, black, number two, titanium white, number three, saffron, and some special shout outs to crimson, sky blue, orange, and forest green. So half the colors are on that list, but the main ones, black, white, and saffron, that is what we are going for. And as you can see, there are a ton of credits. They want me to open a variety of cups. So I guess we'll start with a few prospect cups. Maybe go down to 800,000 or something like that. See if we can get something that's not uncommon. We got a titanium white uncommon. It'd be cool if we get a painted edge wise as well. But to be fair, black shark attack, not bad. I'm not going to spend... And a Saffron Yote. There we go. His favorite colors. Now, all we need is Titanium White and we're good to go. I'm not going to spend too too long on the Prospect Cups because they're not particularly great, in my opinion. I think what I'll do, I'll go down. That's not bad. I'll go down to about 800,000. We'll do one more. Now, I think I'll open Challenger Cups. Maybe 25. Get us down to 700,000. Champions Cups will open 10 to get us down to half a million. Then we'll have enough for 40 All-Star Cups. And maybe a challenge, a champ Champions Cup at the end or something like that. Or maybe 41 All-Star Cups and two Challenges. Something like that. Just a big variety of all the Cups in Rocky League. We've got Striker Chain Helm. we got Time for Noise. i got time for these imports because we're trading up pretty much everything. I'm, I'm fairly certain. If I look here, all the restrictions he has is to keep all of the painted chromatic hollows and only trade up tournament items. That's pretty much all good. And other than that, we can trade up anything that's not in the archive. And there's only a couple of items in the archive. So we can trade up everything, even if it's from season one and season two as well. So literally, we're going to trade up everything. We're going to get painted black markets. They prefer Atomic Blip to Discoid, but they do like both. There's another Saffron item there for the collection. Let's keep this going all the way down. 25 Challenger Cups, probably the most Challenger Cups I've opened in a row. So maybe if we could get an Exotic or a black market in these last six, that would be great. If not, we'll move on to the Champions Cups, I guess. And then we'll finish with the All-Star Cups. So 10 Champions Cups coming right up. All right, cup number one. It's going to be a painted phosphor. Forest green, not bad. Cup number two. Uh, titanium white chain helm. It's okay. Might get traded up, but we might keep that one. Let's do a nose cup. Oh, that's not right. Nose cup. Oh, cobalt chromatic collar. I'm going to leave that part in case someone joins. Now we need the lucky beard. We've got import exotic. Now, black market. Burnt Sienna, very rare. Probably the worst you can get in a Champions Cup. Five more. Pink Chromatic Hollow. This is all good because Chromatic Hollows are things we want to keep. All painted ones. So any Chromatic Hollows we get from these Champions Cups, we're going to keep. Even though they're not great colors, we are going to keep them. And now, I'm going to do one more Champions Cup to leave us 40 All-Star Cups. 
Okay, Grievance Inverted Saffron, one of their favorite colors. We've been nice with the colors in terms of their preference, but haven't been nice in terms of the rarity of the items we're getting. So we have over 400,000 to get a black market. Atomic Blip, the favorite. I'm just going to check and see what blips and discoids they have. If we go to black market, they've got a lot of black market. So if we go to blip here... Uh, Okay, so first certified one, but no painted atomic blips. So it'd be great to get a painted black market there. And two discoids. So they had two non-painted of both. So realistically, we are going to want to go for painted black markets only, which means Chain Helm Sacred, non-painted is perfect trade-up material. So game, if you want to... Oh, okay. So two black markets down, both certified. So... Oh, back-to-back -back black markets and something just happened on my phone. What is going on here then? I'm getting missed calls, but I'm busy. I'll have to call them back because we got back-to-back -back black markets. No paint, but there's a painted chromatic hollow. Decent. I'll take that. We'll keep it as well. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it rolling, and hopefully we get a painted black market from the trade-ups because in the past... Oh! Yes! Yes! That's his favorite one! Black Atomic Blip! His favorite color and his favorite black market from the series. Behind Digiglobe, that's his favorite black market of all time in the Accolade series is, that have come out in the last year. But for season three, black is his favorite color and Atomic Blip is his favorite black market. A absolute win. Absolute win. It's, it's better than Titanium White because you can't trade these items. So they have no value. The value is only what you place on them and what you prefer. And as he prefers black Atomic Blips to every other black market... That's a big win. We're getting tons of Chain Helm Sacreds. We're going to get multiple more Black Markets. I think we're going to get a Painted Discord. I can just feel it in my bones. So that's ideal. Let's smash through these last few. Another Chromatic Hollow. We can trade that one out there because it's not painted. Oh, regular Discord. And we have 10 more All-Star Cups to go. I think, I mean, to be fair, consistently throughout the season, All-Star Cups have performed better for me than... Oh than Champions Cups. A lot of black markets. A lot of black markets from these All-Star Cups. And a lot of exotics as well, might I add. So one more. And there we go. That is that. We now do not have enough currency to purchase the cup. But as you can see, there's a lot of trade-ups to be had here. So we can just trade up all of these. We got all of these today. Bada-bing. Bada-bap-boom. Uh, we'll keep the scorer. Pow. There we go. <laughs> Let's move on to the rare to very rare trade ups. We can literally trade up everything. As he said, no matter what series, we can trade it all up. So let's go with Crockwoods. We'll keep that for now. Duplicate Crockwood there. Trade up you three. We'll trade up you. And we'll trade up the cutesy critter. Why not? Bang. Yoked. Uh, we could trade up all those if we need to. We'll see what we have left here. So many trade-ups to do, given that we're now in the very rare section and we opened mostly all-star cups. It's all good. It's all gravy. Let's see what we can get here. Black Grievance Inverted. I might look to keep that one because, again, favorite color, of course. Chain Helm Regular. Another Black Shark Attack. So we can trade up one of them. We'll keep the non-certified. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll trade up you because it's a duplicate. We'll trade up you. And we're going to trade up the Purple Shark Attack as well. Maybe there's one more we can do here. So we could trade up you, you. Uh, we'll keep these. We'll keep those for now. Okay, let's see what we got here. Most recent. Chain Helm. Get him out of here. Chromatic Hollow. Not painted. That's fine because it means we get trade up material. Chain Helm Sacred again. Trade up material. Let's go with you, you, you. Tactician. Burnt Sienna. Yes, we'll trade up those. Please and thank you. And we'll keep those. That's pretty good. Five black markets to get. So we're going to save the potential Digiglobe trade up for last, which will include me doing the Agassires, the Pop Tops, and then two other ones. So we'll save that until the end. Let's start with the five Chain Helm Sacreds. It's going to be a oh, regular Discoid. I just want a painted one. We've already got the best black market that we could get for this account based on personal preference. So please. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Saffron, that's in his top three. Black, white, and saffron. Painted atomic blip, check. Painted discoid, check. We've only gone and done it. Let's see what else we can do here. Sweeper, turtle, all traded up. A discoid, regular. Okay, okay. So now if we ignore these, what can we do here? We can do that. We can't trade up that. So, okay, so this is the last trade up, and it's going to be the season one attempt. 
So with this, uh, we're going to trade up that striker regular, that's painters. We're going to trade up the chain home sacred. So with this, it is a 10% chance of being a Hades bomb, a 10% chance of being a Nurgle, 10% chance of being a Discoid, 10% chance of being an Atomic Blip, and then 20% chance of being a Righteous Gale, a Digi Globe, and a Riser. So only 20% chance of being a Digi Globe, and then the paint, if it's 25% paint, it's 5% of being a painted Digi Globe. So it's not it's not great, even with 50% painted chance, which I don't think there are with these trade-ups, because I do not get enough painted black markets. It's it's very unlikely that we get a painted Digi Globe. But come on! Wow, all of that, and we got an atomic blip, and we are going to keep these. This was a striker chromatic holo he already had, and the rest are painted chromatic hollows we've got. So, in this video, we managed to get a saffron, burnt sienna, cobalt, pink, and purple chromatic holo. Absolute dub. A couple of cool painted imports, and the saffron discoid black atomic blip, and a couple of other certified black markets. I think we've actually smashed it. One of my better ones. We get a most recent. We got tons. We got apps. We got loads. So he had four black markets from the series to begin with, and he's now walking away with 15. So we got 11 black markets from this video. Am I tripping? He had four. Now we have 12, 13, 14. So wait, am I tripping? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14. He had four. So we got 10 black markets from this video. Two of them are painted both of which are in his top three favorite colors. So that is an absolute dub. So that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it and you enjoyed the luck, please do drop a like on it. And if you do want me to do an opening on your account, I keep getting asked how many credits would be enough for a video. I think the way this series has escalated, realistically, it's got to be about half a million tournament credits by this point. And then obviously by the time the new season rolls around, I'll lower that. But you know, with the season three, it's been out for months now. So you're going to want a big substantial video like like this one but if you do have an inventory of that size and you'd want me to make a video on it then please do contact me using the email in the description that is going to do it from me i've been pixel you have been awesome and i'll see you in the next video very soon